The government has given an assurance that the subsidy for performing the Hajj will be maintained despite the possibility of increased costs in the future, says Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Department Datuk Ahmad Marzouk Shari. However, he said the actual cost of performing the Hajj has yet to be decided. Ahmad Marzouk said the possibility of a cost increase was quite reasonable based on the current situation, but believed the subsidy by the government would continue. In the past, the cost of the Hajj was about RM24,000, but the government only collected around RM9,980 and the rest was borne by the government. Now, costs are rising, especially in the post-pandemic period where spending abroad has also increased. He told reporters after handing over donation to new students of institutions of higher learning in the Pankalan Chepa parliamentary constituency here on Saturday. Ahmad Marzouk, who is also Pankalan Chepa MP, said the government had allocated between RM400 and RM500 mil for the Hajj subsidy, but now needed to re-look it due to the current situation. Usually, when the Hajj season is approaching, the actual costing will be announced and the pilgrims will be informed in advance. We also know that the cost of performing the Hajj has not been increased for a long time because of the government's ability and financial position at that time. However, now the economic situation has changed and expenditure in Saudi Arabia has increased, he added. The costs related to the Hajj will be discussed and hopefully will not burden prospective Hajj pilgrims, he said.